Alright, does this look pretty good, huh? I think so. Alrighty guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Trick Tutorial Tuesdays. The series on my channel where every Tuesday I break down a trick, show you how to do it. Show you the trick itself, probably the best location where to do it. But before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to remind you guys that I do have a playlist linked in the description below and also it's on my channel in general. It's a playlist of trick tutorials and in that playlist you can find the last six, seven videos I made of trick tutorials on Tuesdays that I've made so you can see how to do all the other tricks I've already gone over. Because I've seen you guys commenting like for for instance, how to do a tail whip, you guys want to do some grinds, some of the other stuff, and I've already made those videos, but in the description is that playlist, so go check that playlist if you want to see how to do that trick. I will show you in that video, but today, it's how to bar twist and how to untwist. Yes, that's right, notice I didn't say in twist, because in my trick book, I don't consider that real. So let's go over this real fast, all right? Here are the motions for each, right? Bar twist, untwist, and then this is the next one I do not consider an actual sort of trick in the twist category. We'll say that, right? It's an in-twist. So essentially, you'd be doing a bar spin first, and when done, you'd finish it off by twisting. And the reason I kind of just don't consider this a trick on its own is because you have to hit the bar first. It's not just a standalone twist trick. I still like seeing all the combos that people do with in-twists in them. It's just, personally, I just don't consider that trick, alright? It doesn't mean I hate you doing it, alright? You do you. I'm John's video! I might zoom in that, we'll see. But essentially we're gonna break down the two bar twists that I know. And the first one, of course, is a bar twist. So what you do, I do this the quote unquote correct way, which is toe side. The quote unquote wrong way is heel side. There's really no wrong way, there's really no right way, but I figured I'd bring that up. And so quickly, let me just grab the camera here. If I'm standing regular on my scooter, just like I am right now, I'm gonna be bar twisting with my right hand and my left hand's gonna be the one off. And yeah, when it comes to bar twists, some people keep both their feet on when they do it. And for instance, people like me, I keep one foot on. So when I do it, I literally, almost like this motion, I will have a foot off and it will go in the air kind of. You'll see what I'm talking about in an example in a minute. But I'll essentially take my front foot off, do the bar twist and put it back on, doing it one footed. And some people will do it two feet on the entire time. There's really no like right or wrong. I personally think it looks better with both feet on, but I do it with one foot off. It's just the way I do it. So, you know, it's just how it is. I, I, I low-key think it's easier with one foot, but eh. And so with me standing like this, with my right hand going to be the one that I'm twisting with, I'm going to have my left hand behind my back, and this right one is going to go fully down, and from this point right here my wrist wants to go underneath my bars so this is when this wrist right here is actually going to twist underneath my bars and once it is i'm going to bring it around the other side complete it and bring it to me so that's how you bar twist so if we're going to do that in a faster motion it's going to be like this and it kind of helps to throw behind you as you're learning it so you can kind of get that twisting motion down and then you'll be able to just sit here and do it like this but throwing them back kind of does help at first so you understand like that twisting motion. Because there's a little bit of a flick of the wrist. So now that you got the bar twist motion down, you can go ahead and practice that. Now we got the untwist. It's literally the exact same thing. I'm going to use the same dominant hand, but we're throwing it essentially forward and out to us. So instead of my right hand going completely down and I go underneath the grip, this is when my right hand wants to do the same thing. But I'm throwing it the opposite direction and it's going over my grip so I can go up the bar. I'd be throwing the bars down instead of like this. I'd be throwing them the opposite direction and then using my wrist to come up the other side of the bars. So hopefully me doing this will show you a little bit different, right? I'm going to do three bar twists and then three untwists right here. Bar twist, bar twist, bar twist, then untwist. Untwist, untwist. Right, I'm gonna switch them up. Bar to untwist, bar to untwist. Bar twist, untwist, bar twist, untwist. Bar twist, untwist, baby. So it's just literally a flick of the wrist motion. It's one of the things you'll get down. You practice more up, you'll get it better. Took me some time of doing some motions, sitting there at home, doing some bar twists, some untwists, understanding how the flick of the wrist works. But it's one of those things, you'll work on it, you'll get better. And so if I would recommend a good spot to try this trick, I would say probably a Banks, maybe a little bit of flour in there, or even over a ramp. <laughs> That's what happens, man. I just lose my train of thought when these boys come up here, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'll beat these boys. Wow. I'd probably say maybe hit up a bank or maybe go fly out just so you have a little bit of air time so you can get that whole twist around and land back on your scooter. It's a probably good spot. I'd probably say personally a bank. I mean, I know I started on banks when I started learning bar twists and all that stuff, so that's where I would do it. But feel free, go hit up your local fly out, see how it works out. All right, so I'm just going to throw a couple bar twists up right next to me right now. I'm going to do one up the bank right now just to show you how it is. Here it is again. I'm going to show you down the bank. Whoa. I'm going to show you one up some fly out right now. Look at that. I'm going to do one dropping for you. Now don't worry, I'm going to do a little on 
twist two, untwist up the bank. Let's turn around here. Let's do one into the bank. That's right. Now we'll even do one air. Awesome, look at that. So yeah, go ahead, go outside, go inside, try to learn how to bar twist, whatever suits your needs. And let me know if you found this video helpful on how to bar twist and untwist and how to do all the twists. Like the video if you've enjoyed it and make sure to comment below what beginner tricks you want me to do for the next trick tutorial Tuesday because of course I'm trying to get you know the beginner tricks done and then we'll move out to the advanced ones. I see you guys commenting Brian Flip. I know I want to do a Brian Flip tutorial. It's going to be a fun one. Dang, Chang is closing in 10 minutes. I should probably finish this up, huh? And check out the description down below for the playlist of Trick Tutorial Tuesdays and check out any other Trick Tutorials I've done in case you need help on any other subscribe. tricks. I mean, you probably should subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on a single video because we post them Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at this channel. It's a lot of good scooter content. We talk about scootering, we ride scooters, and I show you how to ride them. So, three pretty good things, I think. And I mean, I'm pretty much done, but it's never too late to do one of these. Let's go.